Keeping both healthcare workers and patients safe during this COVID-19 crisis has been a global challenge. One local Valley doctor took note and wanted to help. UCSF Fresno Dr. Athra Nair, a pediatric cardiologist, saw a device prototype on the internet a Taiwanese physician had invented. It was a plexiglass box that protected caregivers while treating coronavirus patients. She thought, why can't I make one of those for us? So she enlisted her handyman next door neighbor, Jay Russell. After a few prototypes, the two created an aerosol box to help ensure respiratory droplets don't spread in a patient's room. All right, so basically the patient's gonna come here You'll normally find Dr. Nyer in her office, busy caring for children and their hearts. Patient comes in. But on this day, she's showing us a device that she was inspired to create in this unprecedented time we are living in. Just being there to creatively uh, create something that can be of use was very satisfying, and it took away the helpless feeling. Nyer got the idea from a doctor in Taiwan to build an aerosol box. I was like, what can we do so that we didn't half to keep reusing our masks as much or throw them off or put our doctors at increased risk. And there came this idea of this aerosol box. The idea is to protect medical personnel when they are intubating a patient, particularly one who has coronavirus. The box aims to reduce exposure by blocking aerosols. Physician looks at, into the mouth, so he's very close. And then they open up the mouth, look at the vocal cords, and then they put a tube. The moment you put the tube in, before you connect it to a ventilator, you are basically in the lungs and the airway of the patient. So all of that micro droplets is exposed to anyone within that room. But like we mentioned earlier, Dr. Nyer's expertise is in pediatric cardiology, not fabricating plastics. That's where her neighbor, Jay Russell, came in. I was in the garage and she it was nighttime because she works long hours. And uh, she comes over with this video on her phone and she's showing me this video uh, you know, from Asia of these the similar vapor boxes, but smaller. And uh, she's like, Jay, what do you think? And I'm thinking, Oh, what am I going to get pulled into now? Jay is a retired UPS worker and great with his hands. He switched from woodworking to learning about plastic, and together, the two created a prototype of their aerosol box. Dr. Nyer's colleagues in the emergency department and intensive care units at Community Regional Medical Center tested the box out and suggested modifications, including adding in holes for a second healthcare worker to help with intubation. This really helps to contain uh, the infection. To date, the duo have made three boxes for the emergency department and one for pediatric patients. One box costs between $120 and $140 to make. Jay says it's been an honor to work with Dr. Nyer to help protect other health care workers, especially in this time when many of us feel helpless. And that was my whole intent. My whole intent was... <sighs> I'm kind of a softie. But if you can protect one doctor, it's pretty good. I'm a former Marine, and, and it's all about service, you know, service to your country, and, and, and that's what they're doing. And, and, on, and me sitting on the bench was not a good place for, you know, Jay Russell to sit on a bench. And so when she asked me to jump in, I'm like, let's go. Let's do it. Dr. Nyer says this is proof that all of us, whether in the medical field or not, can do something positive to offset the devastation of COVID-19. We won't stop. As long as there's a demand, we'll keep making it um, and we'll go from there. We all have a gift and we all have a, a, a set skill and, and we all have more to offer. And so this is the time to do it.